Hi everybody, I'm here today to review Acid by Emma Pass. I won this book on a Goodreads giveaway a while ago and I did show it off in a haul video but I've only just got round to reading it now and um, it's a story set in a dystopian world where Acid, a police force slash government, have taken over Britain or the United Kingdom and um, have decided that it doesn't need the rest of the world and that the people who live there don't need to know about the rest of the world and that everyone's going to be controlled to be the perfect society. All the like classes are completely separated by walls and you get life partnered which means that when you become of age they assign you someone who is your perfect match in their eyes and that is who you spend the rest of your life with. They assign you your job and that is your job for the rest of your life unless you become promoted within that job and um, you basically have no choice as to who you spend your time with or if you wanted to do another job you, you, you can't and um, if you do things like this you can end up being put into jails and um, you can end up even sadly worse happening to you. Uh, this is the blurb of the story. Acid, the most brutal police force in history. They rule with an iron fist. They see everything. They know everything. They locked me away for life. My crime? They say I murdered my parents. I was 15 years old. My name is Jenna Strong. So, um, as you can tell, the protagonist of this story is Jenna Strong. She is a very likeable character. She's very strong. She's very independent. She knows how to look after herself. And she's willing to do what it takes to get herself to safety and to get herself in a better position. So, um, the book starts with Jenna being in a prison, as, of course, she was prisoned for murdering her parents. And, um... It's the first part of the book is called My Way, as the book is actually separated into different parts. My Way, the facility, Outer, Na, Interrogation, Jessica and Ennis Infrin, which um, is like the different sections of the things that happen to her throughout the story. Um, it's, like I say, we start off with her in prison and she manages to escape the prison. I won't spoil how. And um, she gets put into a new life and ends up meeting a boy called Max who is important to her due to the way she escaped. And she ends up helping him out because he is also on the run from acid and they end up going off on the run together. They obviously are a love interest of each other and unlike a lot of love stories it's quite a subtle love element and that's what I like about it it's not shoved in your face to use the example that I always use it's not like Fallen where all you hear about is how much they're in love with each other and you forget what the story actually is this is all about the story it's action from start to finish and it's just there's quite a few twists in there and it kept me going and it kept me guessing and it was just brilliant i absolutely love this book it got five stars and i i'm so happy that i won it even better that i got this book for free and it's probably like my favorite book that i've read in a long time it's a standalone novel which i also like about it because it means it's a nice rounded story um but it's basically just action from beginning to end i mean there's it was there was never a dull moment it was there was just nothing that I could think of that I was like, well, that bit was a bit boring. And um, it's full of likeable characters. And it's full of exciting story. So go out there and read Acid. This was only a quick review. I didn't want to spoil it too much. But I recommend it very highly. That's Acid by Emma Pass. See you later.